My name is Sami. I'm the founder and CEO of Shortpoint. I started the Shortpoint in Dubai in 2015. For Shortpoint, I had um, eight years of my career uh, helping companies run teams from all over the world. Failed so many times. It was not a good experience at the beginning. But from that time until today, we have been practicing, we have been improving. And I will share with you all our experience, all our tips, how you can run remote companies from all over the world. Shortpoint is an intranet design software. So this is our product. And it, it helps companies design their intranet sites. We are a 30 full-time team members working in seven countries. Our product has been used by almost a thousand company. Uh, and collectively, they designed more than 50,000 intranet sites using our product, empowering 8 million employees from all over the world. Remote work. So what is remote work from our perspective? It is not about working from a cafe. It is not about reducing the cost. Remote work is the new working culture. So let me explain. The first time when we started, uh, the first day in the office here in DTEC in 2015, me and my co-founders were working together. My co -founder, one of the, my partners, came with his laptop to me, and he said, can you give me feedback on this paragraph, on this Word document? We stopped the work, we asked for a meeting, and we say, this is not a remote working culture. First of all, I was, com I was focused on one task. You came and you distracted my focus. Secondly, you saved the document on your computer. So nobody else on this planet will manage to help you find the best content because you basically, you cannot. It's stored in your computer. Uh, sharing documents is not there. So working remote, it has to be implemented even if we are working together in the same office. The Remote 360. Today I'm going to tell you the best softwares we are using to run remote companies. And then remote communication, productivity, and availability. Tips how you can increase the productivity and the pro and availability in the company. How to run remote teams. What about time off? What about hiring? Everything about running remote companies. There are a lot of materials here, so I'll try to be fast and give you tips you can implement today. Softwares. The golden rule is you need a high performance machines, HD cameras, HD audios from day one. This is the responsibility of the company to provide their team members with the best hardware possible. This is, no, and there is, there is a golden rule about the high internet speed. You can't be in a meeting, for example. You have a meeting scheduled today at 3 p.m. And on that meeting, you are trying the internet for the first time. You can't. You need to start a meeting in a place where you tried the internet before. The office. The office basically is virtual. So we use two, so there are two softwares in the world that is recommended. Slack for communication or Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to tell you, this is different than basically sending messages on Skype, sending messages on WhatsApp. This is more about the virtual office that we are using and millions are using it every day. Online meetings. We use Zoom for uh, online meetings and also go to meeting. These are the two softwares that you can use in Dubai. We tried a lot of softwares. These are the best. And Dubai needs VPN because they block voice over IP. So we tried all softwares. ExpressVPN is the best, works with uh, Wi-Fi. But if you are not on Wi-Fi, NordVPN is another tool. They are all paid. So, but you need, for running a remote company, you need the best software as possible. Uh, Zoom works in uh, DTEC and in other uh, Wi-Fi in business. Go to meeting works everywhere. But Zoom is very handy. It's very easy to use tool. Now, the most important software for running remote teams is Time Doctor. So what is Time Doctor? You, this is a tool where any employee, when they start the work, before they start the work, they click start this task. It starts counting how many hours or how many minutes they're spending on this task. 
So, and it means it's recorded somewhere in other softwares, so you know how many hours they spend in each task. But, and also it's used to run payments, so you can pay per hour, so this tool calculates how many hours employees spend on a single task, and it's, it makes a payment. And it's also a productivity monitor, which I will show you why I use it, why it is a must be used by every single team member in any company. We are using it from, I use it every day, everyone is using it for productivity. And I'm going to explain in a moment. For task management, we have developers using, um, this is the softwares you're using, Jira for tasks. These tools are used for um, specifications and documentations. For to-do lists, we keep things simple. So we basically use notebooks, we use uh, sticky notes, um, we use other softwares to keep our tasks. The golden rule, if a task, if this is a task you will be, you have in front of you, if you will not be working on it in this, in this exact second, it has to go to a task list. You should free your brain power to the tasks in front of you, not to memorize the tasks that I have to do that thing tomorrow, I have to do this thing after five minutes. It has to go right away to a task list. That's the rule. Use any tool you want. That's our, that's how we are doing it. Because you run remote teams, so you need to share content fast. So for screenshots, we use these two softwares, Cloud App and Lightshot. And this tool, it's used for Jeff uh, recording, and this one for videos. Guys, the first, the first part of my session, it's going to be fast about softwares, and then we are going to talk about policies. So these are the um, uh, best softwares we are using for uh, sharing the screenshots and uh, recording videos. For meetings, you should never send this question. What time do you want to meet? This, this is not possible. You basically need to use meeting scheduling link. You send the link, you, if you want to meet with me, click this link. So there is a lot of softwares out there it work on time zones, it take care of scheduling everything, so it makes it absolutely piece of cake to schedule meetings. So, Canonly and there are other tools. This is a free software, and uh, it's the best software in the world to schedule meetings. Emails and documents. So, another golden rule from day one. Nothing should be stored on your computer, ever. No desktop software. Even if the um, cloud softwares are limited, you still need to use them. You should not keep anything on your computer or anything on your desk. The only exception you can give is for a finance manager. They need to work on an Excel documents. That's the only thing, and that's the guy sitting out there. He's very happy. So it's the only exception in the company. Everything else should be on cloud. So these are the tools you can, you can use. And if you need help with English, Grammarly. Everybody knows it. Now let's go to the fun part. This is our favorite. This is the, our treasure. Remote communication, productivity, and availability. How, basically, we run a company with no working hours, with no vacations limit, with no managers, no micromanagement, nothing, no control. My mobile doesn't run at all during the day. And still, we have customers and people from all over the world, and our company 24-7, seven days a week. Let's start. Common issues. What are the common issues in communication you have in the workplace? They keep distracting me. I cannot focus on the, the task I'm working on. Imagine like you're working on this document and you focus on it. And then somebody come and tell you, hey, would you like to go out for lunch? So how can we implement a remote work environment to solve the physical office problems? Same mistakes keep happening. Why did he not respond to my messages? Is he work? Is he uh, having fun with his friends? Where is he? This is a manager's uh, headache and stress all the time. So let's see. Creativity bubbles. Anybody knows what are the creativity bubbles? So let me explain. So when you start working on a task, you bring your coffee, you put your headsets, you open your laptop, and you start focusing on this task. After 20 minutes, you feel exactly like this. So if you put your hands on your ears, you feel you are in a bubble. You are very creative now. You focus on this exact task at this moment. This is called a creativity bubble. 
humans have, this is scientifically, actually in science, humans have six creativity bubbles every day. It means you can become a superhuman in creativity maximum six times a day. What does it mean if you are in a creativity bubble and somebody asks you, would you like to go out for, for lunch? This question, one is down. You have five left. Somebody asks you, can you review this document with me? Another one is left. You have four left. This is a creativity bubble. I'm going to show you how the team and everyone can support, we can support each other to utilize these six bubbles every day to the maximum. Number one, the availability icon. So your access to Slack or whatever tool, it shows that you are online. You are online, it means you can accept messages. You can accept anything. Anybody can contact you. It sounds simple, but when you implement this as a policy in a company, that's when it makes difference. Now, the thing is like when this is offline, it means you, you are not working at all. So for example, when, you, when I send a message to, let's say, Christina, she's uh, sitting there, and she's offline. I sent her a message, she replied. I say, why you are offline? You should be online. Why you're offline? So you see what I mean? I sent her a message offline. I don't want her to answer now. I know she's offline. I want her to answer after 10 days. It doesn't matter. This is not urgent. There is another status here we have. I am in a creativity bubble. So I'm telling all the team, I am in my creativity bubble. Why this is important? Because before anyone can come to my office and ask me, let's go for lunch, they go to Slack and they see what is Sammy's status? He's in his creativity bubble. So I ask myself a question. Is my request to Sammy, is very important that I will cause him to lose one of his uh, critical creativity bubbles or not? So then I will say, of course, I will not ask him for lunch. He can take, uh, he can have food whenever he wants. So you see, you don't tell people, don't ask me questions. You tell them the benefits of the creativity bubbles and let them take the responsibility. So this is very effective. The next thing, the next thing we have something called I am here. Imagine you run into the office and you just in front of everyone, you didn't say hi to anyone and you just sit on the chair. This doesn't sound right. What about a company with 30 team members from all over the world? How we do this? Basically, when you start working, you say hello. When you want to go for lunch, you say, I'm going for lunch. Remember, there are no fixed hours. There is no time for break. Um, hello, guys. I'm taking a short break. Why this is important? There is something else. I am going to meet my friends. I will come back after three hours. It doesn't matter. Why this is very important? If I send Anas a message, hi Anas, are you here? He did not respond to me. I will go to I am here channel and I will see Anas is in a break. He's in a lunch break. So I will say, this is not urgent. Anas going for a break. Okay, I can wait for one hour. Simple. I don't, I know where is, what Anas is doing. My task, my request is not urgent, so I don't need to call him on the phone. So this one here, it solves a very important problem. It's very simple, but it solves availab a critical availability problem. Urgent. How many times you ask uh, something and you say, this is urgent, I need it now. So urgent is the enemy for the creativity bubble. It's the biggest enemy. So we defined a policy for the word urgent. Urgent means we as a company need to stop everything we are doing. I am, uh, I don't know, taking my kids to the school. I have to leave them in the school and run to the office because Anas or Mehraj or whoever said this is urgent. That's the meaning of urgent. I know that urgent is going to burst one of the creativity bubbles, but still this is urgent. It's very important. Urgent channels. Every team member should have an urgent communication channel. It can be on WhatsApp, it can be on Facebook, it can be on a phone call, whatever. But each team member should have an urgent communication channel that's always updated. 
My availability calendar. Now, what about the availability like? Uh, it's longer absence. I'm taking an, uh, the two days off, or half of the day I am out. Or um, so we have another place where you share your availability on the availability calendar with everyone. Now the th the thing is here, people when they want to take uh, off days, you know, there are two types of uh, off days we have in the company. An off day, but you still are available to receive notifications. So you still. You want to take a, a, a day off, but you still want to work somehow. You still are available for urgent tasks. So this is the default. By default, each one is adding a, a, his availability, and they are available. But if you want to take a day off, you don't want to be checking Slack or emails. You just want to have a high quality uh, off day. So how we solve this, you nominate one of the team members to be your communication channel urgent communication channel. So for example, I will tell Anas, if for anything urgent, call me on Facebook or in Viber or whatever. The whole company will know who is my urgent communication channel. So if there is anything urgent they needed it from Sami, they talk to Anas. And Anas reach me on Facebook. Why this is important? Because our members, they care about the company so much. So they are afraid that something is urgent, the company will not be able to reach them. But still, we want them to enjoy their, their vacation, so they don't check their emails and Slack all the time. So this solves the problem. Working on, that's the first benefit of Time Doctor. Everyone in the company knows what everybody else is working on in real time. So when I'm having a remote session, now the whole company knows that I am in, uh, running a, a remote session in the company. Now, there is another thing here. Anyone in the company want to work on anything, they should have a task somewhere. You can't start working on some, something that is not saved somewhere. It has to be stored somewhere on any task management software running remote uh, session. It has to be saved somewhere. So you cannot do a work, nobody knows what is it. Remember, we are logging the time all the time. Benefits of it, for example, Another benefit of logging the time, it's not to micromanage anyone. This one is about Anas, for example, at the end of the month, he can check he spent almost this amount, half of the time, checking Slack and emails and meeting with his team. So then he can say, my job description or my responsibilities, actually, I should be meeting more with the front, with my team. So he can, at the end of the month, he can see that I'm doing well. I am uh, focusing on the right stuff. We face the problems. I face the problem. I'm, I'm very stressed out. I don't know if I'm working or not. I don't know if I am uh, focusing on the right things in my, in, my own co in my own. I'm the CEO of the company. So when I started using Time Doctor, I found, after logging my time, I spend 80% of my month working on accounting, on finance, checking bills, as, as uh, putting uh, beneficiaries, I don't know. So it's a critical issue. Of course, I'm stressed. So bec because of that, it's the time to have a finance manager in the company. After that, I looked at my time doctor and I find, okay, things are balanced. I'm spending now 10% of my week, on, of my month on the finance. So logging the time is not to micromanage anyone, which I'm going to explain after. It's a productivity tool and it's also when you are working with people part-time and you pay them per hour, okay? So how we can control that if these are like sample of the part-time employees we work with. Let's say uh, Alam. This guy recorded 19 hours of work. We will pay him $20 or $30 per hour. We pay him the $30 per hour without checking anything because we know it's, it's a 20 hours of real work. Because time doctor, if it says 19 hours, it means this is the time he spent working. It removed the time he spent checking Facebook, checking YouTube, I don't know, we don't care. Let, watch Facebook, watch YouTube, watch whatever you want. We don't micromanage anyone. But I don't wanna pay you for checking Facebook, for example. So this tool takes care of that. So there is no at all any stress for managers at all, zero, on is this 19 hours is actual real work or not? 
So it's a stress-free tool. Reactions. So when we send a message to everyone in the company, you know something, sometimes you send an important message, and then you want to make sure that they read it. This is also stress stuff. You want to see if they are reading the message or not. So we use a simple thing. You just put reactions. It's like the like button on Facebook. Or these are new things like the reactions. Reactions means they read the message. We don't have to check follow-ups. I don't know. If, if I didn't see reactions, I will actually go and say, why you didn't put a reaction? Another rule is when you send a message, you know in WhatsApp, when you send a message on a group in WhatsApp, and then people start saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, the main message is gone, right? So on Slack, on this tool, if you want to say thank you, you say thank you in a thread. So you see like 30 replies on this message, but everything is clean. Everything is clean, everything is organized. Another rule here, which sounds brutal. From day one, you cannot forget anything at all. No excuse. Nobody should follow up with you on any task from the first hour of work. The rule is, as I told you, if this task, you will not be working on it on this exact second, it has to go to a task list. That's the rule. This yes, this one is Slack. So in Slack, when I send a message to someone, and he want to work on it, he can simply type right-click, remind me about this in 20 minutes, tomorrow, next week, and it goes to a task list. So there is no excuse. Nobody should follow up. And imagine how amazing this, how the, the stress is low in the managers, in the leaders, in everyone. You don't follow up on any task. And then we share in our company on a monthly basis. The reports we send to our investors, every single dollar comes to the company. Every single dollar we pay, everything, to the entire team. There is nothing at all hidden. Customers. In real time, whenever we win a customer, the whole company know who's this customer, what is their email, contact, everything. This. Now, this is important uh, piece here. You know, like everything in running companies, it's about messages. It's not about human interactions, even if you're sitting in a, in a desk. So there is something. I send a message to you and I tell you, why did you send that email? I tell you like this now. I send you, uh, I'm telling to you, why did you send that email? It shows anger. But I can tell you, hey, why did you send that email? So it's different, right? But it's the same message. You see what I mean? So the rule is, Never analyze text messages, ever. If you feel emotionally about this message not right, ask that team member, I want to meet with you now, just for one minute. Camera is on, the, uh, the audio is on. Can you repeat that message to me again? I'm serious, guys. They repeat it. It solves a big problem, this one. You remember, you need remote culture is about Life, work, balance. It's about stress-free environments. Remote leadership. This is an important piece here. You cannot manage or micromanage anyone. There is no management. What is the... Why is this? We are living now in an era where everything is fast. Everyone is competing. Everyone want to be the best. Everyone. Everyone want to get the best title. Why? Because you see LinkedIn uh, job titles change. You see stories on Instagram about people going for vacations. You see people on Facebook sharing happiness moments. The meaning of happiness changed now. Now in all of our DNA, without knowing, we want to be perfect. We want to achieve. We want to be the best. So it's, it is in our DNA already. It's in DNA of everyone. So people now are more responsible and more accountable than ever before. And because we still use the old working culture, people are getting burned out more than any time before. I burned out three times. And I'm telling you, it's terrible. It's the worst feelings or time a human being can go through. The burnout. So... From there, 
The leadership, it started from the leadership. No management, no micromanagement whatsoever. Trust the people 100% that they want to help you and help the company grow. Make them accountable. Tell them, this is your responsibility in the company. If anything goes wrong about the things like you're responsible about, it's very bad. But you need to make them accountable first. Mistakes are very healthy. Open the world in your company for mistakes. And let me explain. You cannot make a list of all possible areas for mistakes in the company and say, let me build a policy to have a mistakes-free uh, company. There's no way you can do this. You need to wait for mistakes to happen. And when mistakes happen, with a big smile, invite the whole team to dig deep on this mistake, why it happened, what's the reason, why this is a mistake from the first place. And let's together try to know how can we make a policy in order to avoid this mistake from happening again? Together. And then the same mistake can happen for the second time. When the same mistake happened for the second time, the leader has to ask himself, it's my problem. What else I can do or what did I miss? What are the other information I did not give to Ahmed, for example, and that's why he did the mistake again? Okay, we discuss it together. I find like I give him all the information and then I go to Ahmed part. I say, what is the problem here? Show me the notes you are taking. Show me your task list. We solve the communication issues together. Maybe there is a communication issue. Maybe he has a problem in managing his tasks. So we solve it. You see? And then third time mistake. If the same mistake happens for the third time, it never happened in our company, ever. Mistakes did never reach the third time, the same mistake. We always do first time, second time. We spend time here, it never happened for the third time. This is a massive, it means together we improve the process in the company, in that area, and it's perfect. So it never reached the third time mistake. Vacations and off days, no limits on vacations, no limit on off days, no limit, no sick leaves at all. I will show you now how we were forced to implement a policy in the company to force people to take vacations because they even don't want to take vacations. Golden rule, it's just one rule. Company and the team should never be impacted by your absence and it is your responsibility. We don't care if you have a wedding, you want to go for the Bahamas, I don't know, we don't care. What we care about, while you are enjoying your holidays in the Bahamas, nothing in the company should be impacted at all. Zero, it's your responsibility. What we do here, we give you some tips. The time, the types of off days. I am off, but I'm still available. I am completely off. Contact someone else for anything urgent. The maximum, you can take two weeks in a row like two weeks long vacation, but this one has to be planned two or three months ahead. The other vacations, like one, two days off, this can be planned like ahead of time, but you know, there are always exceptions. Now let me tell you something. Because of this rule, it means before you wanna plan a one day off, you already have tasks planned with your team. So you know that if I took that day off, I already told them that we will finish this task this week, so I cannot take vacation now. So I will tell them, like, I want to take vacation next week. You see? So the rule is in the company, let people be responsible about their own availability and the trust that they care about the company growth and success from day one. And from their side, they will feel accountable, responsible, so they do everything they can to make sure that while I'm off, nothing will happen, nothing will go wrong. Hiring, and uh, how we do in hiring. So basically, we don't recommend outsourcing, like working with outsourced companies, we don't recommend it at all. Because uh, there you meet with an owner of that company and then you're happy with him and then somebody else is working. There are many problems of working with outsourced companies. You hire full-time employees or you hire part-time employees, not outsourced companies. Now we use tools like Recruity, 
to publish the jobs. When you have jobs opening, it has to be published on the career side. This career, uh, this, uh, by the way, uh, hiring portal, when you publish a job here, it sends this job to LinkedIn, Indeed, everywhere. So you get thousands of applications. Now, I would like to tell you about something here, uh, in, something uh, interesting. So um, you share a job on LinkedIn. Next day, you receive 1,000 applicants. Do you have 1,000 hours to review the 1,000 applications? No, there's no way. So what we do, there are a lot of tips here. We changed something in the job application. We said that the job application, all the requirements, and then there is a section on that job application that says, if you want to apply to this job, follow the following instructions. And the instructions are zeros and ones. So it's a paragraph, one, zero, 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 one. It's a computer language. This is for developers. It works for developers. One, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and I created a rule on my email, anyone click apply on LinkedIn or apply on Dubizil, auto spam. I don't want to even see them. Why? Because that message, it's an encoded message. They have to copy it, open Google, uh, convert it from computer language to text. And when they do that, it will show them, send I am amazing to Sammy at shortpoint.com. That's it. We received five out of 1,000. Five reached that level, four higher. Why? Because they read the job description, they read everything, and they find that, that, that this is how I should apply. They were smart enough to check it online. And I'll tell you something also. There are people who, what they did, they send us an email, very excited. They send us an email with a software they created to translate, I don't know, from... Also, we did not hire them. Because these people are hard-working people. You don't want hard-working people, you want smart people. Why you spend two hours working on a task that you can finish it in one minute? You see what I mean? So this is something, a tip. Also, we use this one, Code Byte. This is more advanced. When people submit job, this tool automatically send them an assessment. Test, based on the job. It can be IQ, it can be coding, it can be whatever. Everything runs automatically. So our team works on only the people who pass these first filtering. And we work with so many agencies, uh, recruitment agencies. This is very, very important for companies. So let's go to another thing here. It's very important, the onboarding and offboarding. Running remote teams, you hire from all over the world. You want to know, like when they, when they get hired, all the steps required to onboard them. But also the offboarding is very important. When they decide, like, I don't want to work, in one hour you can disable all their access. You know everything. So the onboarding and offboarding is very, very important. Finding places to work. So we use two apps in Dubai. So Let's Work is a very nice app. It recommends places like cafes, I don't know, in Dubai where they have a plug to put your uh, computer. Uh, cafe, uh, coffee, very good internet, and you can actually use it to list all the nice places where everybody go to work. This is a good place. This one co-worker, it just uh, showed rating for all co-working spaces in Dubai. It's also a great tool to find the places to work. Chit chat talk. Yes, so this is important in any, in any culture. This is a very toxic thing. Not this guy, he's uh, my uh, part, he's our partner my partner, co-founder. So the thing is here, me and Ahmed should never talk about uh, Christina, about anything. Never. So it's called toxic talk. If I wanna, if I have a problem with Christina, I need to talk with Christina immediately about it. Now let me tell you how we, what are the rules here. From day one, Every team member trusts all other team members 100% that they are great, amazing people from day one. Whatever you tell me, I know that you are great. So it means there is a communication issue. If anything goes wrong, you feel like problem with uh, Anas or whatever, you talk to Anas. Another problem, you don't know if you want to talk to Anas, you feel shy, I don't know. In the company, we have culture therapists. So we nominated two people in the company. These are the people you talk to about anything you want. And it's not me. And I also talk 
Anas is one of the therapists in the company. It's like, I can talk to Anas about problems I have with Muhammad, about anything. Hey, uh, Anas, uh, Muhammad, this never happened. Sorry to use the example. Uh, Muhammad did not uh, ask me to go for lunch. It can be as simple as that. I can talk to Anas. There's something else, culture police. Everything we told you about before to protect this environment, all these rules, we have culture police. We have in the company people who knows everything about our culture. They want to protect, to have a great working environment. Nobody's talking about anyone. Everybody's following our culture, our process. Everybody's healthy. Do you know who they are, these people? Everyone. So everyone in the company is a police for the culture. So we said, I meet with Muhammad, I meet with Mihraj. We meet with everyone and say, congratulations, you are the police in the culture. But the fact is, everyone is police in the company. Everyone. Fitness club. Also something in the company called fitness club. It's just about a channel on Slack. We say a company will pay for all your sports activities. All of them. We'll sponsor everything you do. We just ask you to share your activities with everyone so you can motivate others. That's it. Until now, nobody claim their sports activities, but everybody's sharing their progress. It just feels uh, everybody's working out and it's very healthy. It's, it makes everyone go and do exercises. Christina, for example, it was the first time in her life to go to the gym. So she never posted anything after, so you need to post other things. <laughs> social, so we do a lot of social activities together. It can be as simple as taking a selfie you started the work, you take a selfie, say hi to the team. You go for lunch, you go for whatever activity. You make people involved, you share like, uh, Mihraj, he's here, he got a, a daughter just uh, two days ago. So share it with everyone. So there's some things we do all the time. Team building. So running remote companies, we invite the team from all over the world we go to a country for a week or two. We did it many times before. It sounds like very expensive, but actually the fact is, no, it's not very expensive. But the value here is incredible. And I'm going to show you, just quickly, here, a video from our uh, last trip. We did it before together. So let's start. Connect. Okay, so this is the last uh, event we did together in the company.
So the idea is you need to take the team all together going to places where we can uh, see each other in person. And um, the best activity is hiking for two days because it teach. You just show the team building and the team and the collaboration and everything all together. It just makes the team very, very connected together. So it's worth every single dollar you will invest. And of course, like uh, team, teams in the same city, we always encourage like going outside for lunch or dinner or organizing uh, activities together. And there is this stuff about sharing also the team availability, memories and occasions. There are a lot of things to cover. I, these are other things I would like to talk about in next uh, sessions. But for example, talking about what you, you talked about something here, about there is something about job descriptions. So what is the job description? So for us, the job description is not the one you put on the, you actually put on the job description. You should write your own job description. So we tell you when you join the company, Look all the tasks you have, and at the end of the month, you categorize them, and you write your job description. Dependencies, we hear a lot of problems about, I want to finish my task, but I cannot finish it because I have to wait for Ahmed to finish his task. That's a problem of job description. So there should be no dependencies at all. So it has to be solved from day one. Four days working schedule. So four days working a week. So what is the... Policy here, it's not like you work four times a day. How many times you reach the last day in the week and you cannot wait for the weekend? You just, you are exhausted, you work so much. And on Thursday, you want like still to work this day, you cannot wait for the weekend, but you don't have work. But because we trust our team that they want to work, we know that they will feel guilty because they did not uh, become, they feel like they are not productive in that day. So they will, we know that they feel guilty. We don't want to take them, we don't want them to take this feeling to the weekend. So we say, if on Thursday you don't have work to do, you don't feel productive, you don't have to work. Reward yourself with an extra day. You still will work, but you, we feel like you don't have to work. So there is no feeling of guilt if you are, uh, your productivity is not high. Me, for example, when I, when sometimes I want to work, but I don't feel I want to work. I don't want to feel guilty that I didn't work. I just put an intention, let me at least put two hours on Time Doctor today. So I look them in Time Doctor, at the end of the day I see that I worked for two hours. Um, how to deal with low social intelligent people, for example. Yes, so what does it mean? This, this means a new team member joined the company, and that person is like, doesn't know how to react. He's just very direct person, you know? Um, the, the, the first impression you get about this guy, like he's very bad. I don't like to work with him. But remember the rule we have. You need to trust everyone from day one that they are great people. It means if they are not smiling, if they are, I don't know, it doesn't mean they are bad. You know that they are good inside. So basically you need to learn. I don't know what happened. You need to learn how to embrace all kind of people, everyone. Because when you do that, when you embrace them, they will become happier people. You will help them become better persons. But if you push them away, that's not a healthy place. You have to, you don't know their reasons. Maybe they are uh, being depressed at home. She or he couldn't sleep for, well, he has sleeping problems. You never know these things. You need to embrace everyone because you trust them that they are good. This is how we solve that problem. It's not by pushing them, it's by basically embracing them. Because what matters is like your actions on ground at work. There is another thing we do is like, you need to read every email you send. After you send any email, you have to go and read it again. You have to click all the links. You have to open all attachments and see them after you send. Why? Because so many times you just pasted the wrong link. You send the wrong attachment. Why did I add that person in the CC? So it happens so many times you do these mistakes. 
And when you work with remote people from all over the world, you have to know that with time zone difference, a small mistake to solve it, you need two days to wait for that person to tell you you send the wrong attachment. So no, you spend five minutes, see that email again, and then you can solve the problem before it, we waste two days. So this is also a small tip here. Um, yes, so that's it. Thank you very much. With emails, no. Yeah, because the thing is like uh, with emails, if you're using like the desktop, this you can do this recall stuff. But um, it doesn't work. It's gone, forget about it. So there's another way, like uh, you can implement something called delay send. So when you click the send button, you can say send it after 20 seconds. And you can see the button down, undo. So it gives you 20 seconds. But that's enough, by the way. It's enough to know that you did the mistake because the mistakes are you click the send by mistake and you know you added that person So you still have time to click undo But it doesn't matter like even if you make the mistake It's so beautiful after you do the mistake you reply after 10 minutes say hey by the way. I'm sorry. I sent the wrong link Here is the right link. Ah, oh, there is another rule never say sorry ever so you don't say sorry for example you are late on a meeting you don't say, that, I'm sorry, I'm late. You say, thank you for waiting for me. It changed the perspective so much. It, you don't want people to feel empathy for you. You know that you are a great person, but you're not perfect. You can do mistakes and mistakes are okay. So you see, this is small tips about mistakes are healthy. So I'm never sorry that I made a mistake. I did everything possible, but things can go wrong. So thank you for being patient with me. That's also something, uh, Something we do, so it's okay if you, but if you send an email like, <laughs> there's some sensitive email, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy to see you, by the way. I know uh, these guys for many years, and uh, thank you for coming, okay. Yes. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>